All right, 11 Warriors report, Time Warner Cable Sports Channel all week. All sorts of good stuff on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel this week in lead up to the game, Ohio State and Michigan on Saturday at high noon. Bring on our guys as we always do. Uh, here's what I want to do with this, this part here is let's talk about what the game meant to you as an Ohioan. Game means everything. I mean, it's the biggest rivalry in all sports. I was brought up in the rivalry with both of my parents being Michigan grads. My dad played football there, so I was, knew about it um, from a very young age. This is the week. You know, you live and die for this week, and especially if you lose the previous year, you wait 365 days to just get that rematch. I mean, this game is it's David versus Goliath every single time. You know, you have got the one team who's normally always ahead, ranked ahead as in Ohio State this year. And no matter who's the underdog or whoever's favorite, they want to come in there and, and, and just dominate the game and beat the other team. And there's such a hatred during those 60 minutes, but outside of that, there's so much respect throughout the year. I talked to you on the show. We do a segment, just you and I, about your history in it. But I want to ask you real quick on this because we don't have time to get to it in the show. What was your, your, your – obviously you knew Bo very well. Dad played yeah. for him. I mean, are you aware of the fact that you had this relationship with Bo, and then you played for Tress and Urban? Like, that is a it's, crazy thing. I, it hit yeah. me when we're doing this, but we didn't get a chance to talk about it on the show. It, like, can you put that into words? Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I knew Bo since I was, since I was tiny. I mean, since I was a baby, I knew Bo. Bo was – we'd see him – multiple times a year he was always involved in my family's life talked to my dad all the time talked yeah. to us i mean he was like our mentor growing up you know we'd we'd always call him and it was just kind of like talking like uncle bo you know it was it's crazy weird. Uh, the crazy thing is is that when bo died we were still michigan people so like that's that's the crazy thing is bo's probably up in heaven somewhere <laughs> looking now like oh, what are you doing but, but yeah I mean, at least he didn't have to see it exactly that's he didn't, that's, have, he didn't have to see it uh six right. an ohioan uh I mean, I grew up outside of Dayton, and that's, you know, pretty much prime real estate for Ohio State fans, but you're not far from 75, and, you know, two hours you can get in Michigan. So I kind of got it from, from both angles there, but I have a lot of family members that went, went to Ohio State. I went to Ohio State, and one of my earliest memories is, is Trestle, you know, saying 310 days, you know, mm -hmm. you're going to be proud of our young people all in Ann Arbor, yeah. Michigan, and that really stuck with me forever and kind of made me fall in love with him, and he dominated that rivalry, and that was my youth. I mean, that's how I grew up with it, and, and now it's just kind of a thing that, you know, doing what I do, it, it's it's become this great magnitude, and now that we have two great coaches that truly understand it, it's it's it, as an Ohio, and it's like I just can't wait for yeah. Saturday. I'm so like just anxious for the game to start. Northeast Ohio native Tim. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a Youngstown kid, so uh, I grew up, you know, right where Jim Trestle's from, and when he took the job, uh, when he left Youngstown State to come down to coach to Ohio State, that was obviously a huge thing back yeah. where I'm from. So. Uh, the Ohio State Michigan game, uh, you know, I've lived in Ohio my entire life, so I've been around it. Just, you know, as a sports fan, as a football fan, you, you, you can't live in this state or Michigan without being around that game. You just can't. You know everything about it. You watch it every year, no matter who you root for, what, what team you support, anything like that. If, even if you don't root for either team, you watch Ohio State Michigan as an Ohio State or as an Ohio kid or Ohio fan or sports fan, things like that. So, yeah, it, it's. Every year when, when Ohio State Michigan meet, it, it, it means a lot. It means just you know just to the teams, the fan bases, but just to the people of the state. So I'm, I'm excited to, to watch it again. From the outside looking in, somebody who grew up where I did and just got indoctrinated into this the last 10 years, to me, from my perspective, I just look at these are the two things that if you grew up in Michigan or Ohio, you could count on. Mm -hmm. If the Lions sucked or the Bengals sucked or the Browns sucked, Ohio yes. State and Michigan on Saturday <laughs> would deliver. Yeah. Like, that was the one thing. If the, if the jobs went away, if the economy sucked, if Ohio State and Michigan, you could wear that block, that M and that block O with pride wherever mm -hmm. you went and say, you know what, winners suck here, but we have Ohio State football or we have Michigan football. That's the thing to me. It's the one unifier of the two states, and it's awesome that they share it. And, and I think you guys all did a great job of speaking on that. I think it's a little ironic that you guys spoke so eloquently on it in navy blue shirts. <laughs> I think that's a little ironic. I only have like four shirts, Bo, so. <laughs> that's oh, yeah, I just realized that. Yeah. Look at these guys. We did not plan what this. Are you They're doing? like in the Michigan oh. fan club, born. I'm also colorblind, so Man. I didn't even know. That's, that's, but, my, that's if, you, if you're legitimately yeah. colorblind, that might be an excuse. Uh, this one was just the one that was closest to the door on my, on my like, look for the show all week long and look for Time Warner Cable sports coverage all week long, including post game. Uh, this week after the game, flip it over for Urban's uh, press conference. Uh, it's going to be a big one. It's the game. Enjoy it.